You're listening to Metal Attack MTL with Double D here on MetalMessiahRadio.com. You're listening to Metal Attack MTL, and tonight, well, we are en route to Heavy MTL. I think that last block's a testament to how uh, there's a little bit of everything for everyone throughout this competition. It's hard to categorize all these 20 bands. It really is, bands. and especially hard to put them under under titles, as we were arguing about earlier. Now, um, how are they going to be like uh, selecting the winners? Like, uh, well, how the contest is working, there's no winner per night, as you usually see in a lot of these type of competitions. Okay. It's really based on overall performance throughout the entire competition. So that means if like one night two bands totally killed it, and one night not so much, you know, the, the bands that killed it are going to go through. So uh, the judges have a, a grid, if you will, to go by in terms of what they're looking for. They'll be giving an overall score, and the top five bands, I believe, will be doing the finals. Are there criteria of a judging? There are, uh, among which are your overall performance. So that's the show you give, your visuals, your playing. Uh, after your performance, you've got your musicianship, what you're playing, how you're playing it, the originality. Um, of the band, uh, the concept, the ideas behind it, and of course, crowd reaction, interaction, if you're getting the crowd moving, how everyone's feeling it. So crowd is important, as you were saying earlier. Like, so, yeah, come out. Try to get there early, you know, for, uh, you know, for the first band playing that night. And yeah, for sure. I mean, it's a Wednesday night. What the heck else is there to do? You can also <laughs> buy your tickets from the bands or at Labyrinth Rock. So, uh, Boutique Labyrinth. Where you worked for so long. I worked for so many years there. I actually have a bunch of t-shirts from there. I haven't been in a long time, but all my old ones are from I there. Got, I got drawers full and drawers full. So yeah, you can pick up your tickets there. And there plus, like I said, we'll have interviews and everything with everybody in all the bands and cover everything. It'll all be on my YouTube channel, Montreal Metal Shows also. So prepare for battle. So let's move on to the next block of bands. It is the Symphonic Metal Night. And this one, I have nothing to say because this is all bands with keyboards. So you want to call it symphonic? <laughs> it is all symphonic. They, they There's all nothing have wrongs with you have. Bands. You honestly have nothing to say about this next block. Nothing. When I look at the bands listed, well, uh, I'm going to be. There's uh, a, there's a very, familiar uh, band silent. in this lineup. Yeah. yeah. Well, but they're all great bands that we are very very happy to share the stage with. I've all seen them live before. I respect all these bands. They are very good. We've played them on this show before. Uh, I booked them. Because I also do booking. Not as, do? Much as, not as much as you do, but I booked uh, Magnum Stallion yeah, a couple months ago with Val Freya before I was in it. Oh. Yeah, that's how I got the offer to play with them. So yeah, that's my second band. We always talk about Bukaki on here. My band Val Freya will also be there that night. Uh, we have Magnum Stallion, Hollow, and Erima, all the big bands from here with keyboards. <laughs> some with face paint. It's true. <laughs> some I, with, I, I some think with two makeup. out of three have face paint. Uh... Corpse yeah, you're right. Some have makeup, and then we also have makeup because we have a girl singing. So <laughs> I know I should take offense, but I you don't wear makeup. I don't really hell, wear you, makeup. Yeah. <laughs> a band with the name Magnum Stallion, you wouldn't picture like they'd be dudes uh, wearing eyeliner. Yeah, we played them on here before. You liked it. I, I swear to God, Magnum Stallion sounds like a condom brand. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are the ones I use minus the stallion. So. All right, Mr. And he's Magnum. modest, too. I, am, I have never <laughs> mentioned anything about that sub-career of mine on this show, so I am modest. <laughs> so let's keep it out of there. Yeah. They don't want to talk about that. Well, apparently you have a, a very nice-looking penis. Uh, this is a yeah, pillow. according to other people. Where it is, anyway. <laughs> Word of mouth. The pinch's well. penis is beautiful. Yeah, was that Mike that said I, that? Mike yes, Metal from Show Mike Metal. Metal. Texted that into <laughs> wow. that in. Say that right on the air, too, eh? Like, He's right out to the world. Hey, man, he wants to talk about my dick in text messages. <laughs> <laughs> on the air. He I, I think that our new goal for the evening is see how many times uh, our dear Pinch can turn scarlet red. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to start talking about that reality oh. show you did on Music Plus. Dude, you're as red as that bucket over Touché, there. Touche! 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 How about we come back to that later on? Yeah. I Michelle want on Music Plus on a reality TV show and with the bunch of douche little girls. Hey, representing <laughs> metal, man. Exactly, but still, you want to turn how many, how many? How many people can you say were on Music Plus wearing a Martyr t-shirt, playing Dio? I was not, I was not, not giving what? you props for that, eh? I was just trying to make you red, because we have a re reality Almost. TV star on our hands here, so... Uh, not so much. All right, let's move on to the next block, and then we'll all make fun of that later on. <laughs> uh, Valfreya, Magnum Stallion, Hollow, and Irma. Let's kick it off. Let's get it going. You're listening to Metal Attack MTL. On MetalMessiahRadio.com.
You're listening to Metal Attack MTL with Double D here on MetalMessiahRadio.com. 